Are you looking to take your IT career to the next level, but the thought of coding and hacking just keeps you up at night? Well, I got you covered. Because in this video, not only am I going to show you three non-technical careers that pay six figures, I'm also going to show you exactly where you can go to get the training for these roles. Welcome back, Cyber Heroes. And if this is your first time here, I'm Boyd Clues, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help IT guys upgrade their careers to a six-figure cybersecurity career. Let's go. Hey, Cyber Heroes, before we dive into the details, if this is your first video in this series, I want you to pause this, click the link in the video description below because it has a link to my previous video that goes into detail about these three positions and where you can actually find and apply to them. It's going to be important that you watch that video first before continuing with this one because on this video, we're going to go into details about how you can learn the skills and apply them to land these jobs. So one thing that you have to know about me is I don't teach what I don't know because you can't lead where you've never been or where you don't go, right? And so all of the tools and the things that I'm gonna teach you today, I'm gonna to talk about are specifically tools that I use in my very own career. Now, I did not go to college or any technical school to learn the, the tools of the trade to become a cybersecurity expert. I was actually self-taught and I leveraged some of these companies that I'm going to show you in this video because they have really good trainers and they are very consistent. And when I started my IT career around 2010, I believe it was, these companies were around and they're still here, which means they're good. So pay close attention as we dive into these different training platforms to help you get these results for these non-coding technical roles that can pay you six figures. Let's jump into number one, which is cybersecurity auditor. Now I'm gonna preface this by saying, I'm not getting paid for anything that I'm gonna tell you today. The links to these training websites, I don't have any affiliate programs, I have nothing to sell. I am just gonna give you value so that you can get the information that you need in order to be successful. Okay, so cybersecurity auditor, completely overlooked career path that pays a significant amount of money because it's important. Remember, you can go back to the previous video, we'll talk all through it and show you the, some of the potential salaries that you could get. So coming in first on the list of companies that I like to use to do specific training around cybersecurity and IT is CBT Nuggets. And you know me, I'm a show and tell guy, so I'm actually going to show you exactly what I'm talking about right here. So let me tell you, I love CBT Nuggets. CBT Nuggets helped me crush the CISSP in like six weeks. Anyway, whole nother story. If you go over to CBT Nuggets, which is cbtnuggets.com, you can come to certification training and then you can actually determine what type of training that you're looking for by either vendor or career path. Me, I like to focus on the career path because you don't want to tie yourself into a specific vendor. You want to become an expert of the trade, not a vendor expert. For example, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't recommend becoming a Cisco firewall specialist. I would recommend becoming a firewall specialist. That will give you more leverage and ability to move around in your career because you're not tied to a specific vendor. So if you come over to cybersecurity, they're gonna show some different cybersecurity paths that you can go through. Now, if you wanna become a cybersecurity auditor, which I recommend, you can make a good grip of money. There's a couple things that you can look at. Number one, it is the CISA, which is the Certified Information Systems Auditor Certification, which I have this certification. This training and this specific certification is going to give you the insights on how to audit, how to escalate, how to manage processes for an organization. Now, this is specifically around IT auditing. So it's the process of validating that system and processes are in place on the system side of companies. Cool thing about this is no technical skills required. You will have to audit some technology, but you always develop an audit plan before you go and review technology so that you are prepared for it ahead of time. So the CBT Nuggets training is pretty thorough. They go through audit execution. They talk about governance and IT management. And if you were to take these specific keywords like IT governance 
as well as like IT management and information systems implementation. If you were to put these keywords into your favorite job boards, you would see that there are some extremely high paying positions out there that are looking specifically for these keywords. Now, I don't have the specific pricing on CBT Nuggets. Maybe we can learn right now. Here we go. CBT Nuggets is highly affordable. We're talking about $59 a month to get you access to this type of training that could fundamentally change your life. I personally vouch for CBT Nuggets because they are good. And in fact, if we go back, the person that really helped me out was Keith Barker. Shout out to Keith. If you ever watched this video, dude, you're awesome. All right, and for the next one, we're going to talk about the compliance analyst as well as the IT risk analyst. As you can see from my screen, I'm on the ISACA's website. ISACA is actually the governing body for the CISA certification that we looked at previously that was uh, being offered by CBT Nuggets. Now, CBT Nuggets doesn't specifically cover the two certifications that I'm going to show you here on this webpage, but in actuality, if you think about it, what better place to get training than the company that actually develops the certification, right? So some industry certifications that I highly recommend for this space of GRC, Governance, Risk, and Compliance. Again, check out the other video, the previous video, to get details of what I'm talking about. So if we go over to credentialing, we're going to see several different pathways that are offered through uh, certifications by ISACA. IT audit career paths, as well as cybersecurity. But what I want to focus in on here is just some of the specific certifications that I would recommend that you get. Okay, so if we look here, so we already talked about the CISA. This right here is a good one right here, the C-Risk. The C-Risk and the CISA are very, very good um, certifications that you could use to get your foot in the door for um, these governance risk and compliance positions. So let's look at some information right here about the C-Risk. They actually include some details about the potential salaries. C-Risk salaries average around $151,000. And look, there's only around 30,000 C-Risk holders. That might seem like a lot to you, but I want you to think about and do your research, Google how many Security Plus and Network Plus professionals there are millions. We're talking about a certification in skill that will separate you from the competition. And it's not that difficult. This is things right here that are covered in the C-Risk. You have governance, IT risk assessments, risk response and risk reporting, and then information technology and security. So you can see we're not talking about technical things here, but this specific position that um, you could leverage by getting the C-Risk for would pay you a ton of money. We're talking about increasing the skills that you already have as an IT professional. And I have to state that because I get a lot of people that comment on my videos and say, hey boy, well this is an entry level. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I don't make content for entry level people, right? My job is to help IT professionals upgrade their career into a six figure cybersecurity career. So if you're not an IT professional, sorry, but you are not my target audience. Now you have CompTIA entry-level certifications that can help you get into IT, but that's not what I cover, all right? So the C-Risk is great. Um, you could actually get your exam prep and training right here from the ISACA website. And once you, um, their training is, it's more expensive than CBT Nuggets. Probably looking at seven, 800 bucks, but it is worth it. So if we go over to the store, you see non-member pricing is going to be $895, but you think of a small investment for training that is going to set you up for life. So don't think about the now. It's all about the future. So this is what I would recommend doing if you want to become like an IT risk analyst or a compliance professional. C-Risk, very, very good certification. ISACA has really good training. I've personally used it for some certifications myself. Between the ISACA website, as well as the CBT Nuggets website, you have all the resources that you need to learn the skills to become a GRC professional, which is governance, risk, and compliance. You could figure out which path that you wanna follow. And what I would recommend doing is, again, tracking back to my previous video, 
I would look at those job descriptions of those positions that were paying $120,000 plus. Look at what certifications the companies are asking for or what particular skills. I would take the skills from the job description that you feel matches up with your abilities and then find the certification that strongly aligns with that skill set. Is what you can do. Take that certification, ace it, of course, and then you can update your resume, your LinkedIn profiles, and go apply for those positions. So these certifications will allow you to walk in those positions because you're just leveraging the skills that you already have, putting it into a framework so that you can help companies comply with different governmental or regula regulatory uh, frameworks. So that would be extremely beneficial for you and help you make a ton of money. So now is a good time to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified anytime that I drop new videos. And let me know down in the comments, have you heard about the CISA or the C-RISK certification? Did you know that the average C-RISK was making $151,000? Let me know in the comments. What I can do is I can actually show you guys more roles and certifications that could actually get you paid a lot more because the things that I'm going to show you are not mainstream. So we're not going to be talking about Cisco CCNAs and CISSPs. We're not going to talk about any of that, right? Because that's what everybody's doing. But on this channel, I'm going to give you guys the inside track on what's transformed my life, which is governance, risk, and compliance. That is not talked about a lot. So you can get the inside scoop to go take this information and start a six-figure cybersecurity career. Well, hey, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.